In this Playwright tutorial, we are going to see how to tag a test and how to execute the tagged tests in Playwright. So here I will go to the VS Code and quickly I will create a spec file here. So here I'll say spec file name as tag test dot spec dot js. So that's it. So here I will go to the one of the spec file and simply I will copy the one test and I will come back to the tag test dot spec file. And here, so we have only one test. So let me summarize what we are doing in this test. So we are navigating to youtube.com and we are entering the search, search keywords and we are clicking on the search icon. And then once we got the results, we are clicking on the playlist and then, then we are validating the title of the web page. That's it guys. Now let's see how you can tag a test. So let me modify the test name as so I will give the test name as test1 and similarly I will create the copy of this test. So I want to create a total 3 automation test here. So this is the second test, test2 and I am creating another test that is test3. That's it guys. So tagging is very simple guys. So whenever you are creating a test, so whenever we are writing the description of the test then and there you can specify the tag name for this particular test so by using the at the rate symbol so here i'm giving the tag name as tag one and here you can give the tag name as smoke testing sanity testing or regression testing also you can give it for the test one i'm giving the tag one and i will come to the test two here and here i'm giving the tag name as test sorry tag 2 and for the test 3 I will give the tag name as at the rate tag 1 that's it guys so we have given two tags here one is at the rate tag 1 another one is at the rate tag 2 that's it guys for at the rate tag 1 we have two tests at the rate tag 2 we have only one test now let's see how to execute the tagged test by using the terminal so I will open the terminal here. So it is very easy guys. So simply you can write the npx followed by playwright and followed by test. And then here you need to write the hyphen hyphen grep. Followed by that we need to specify the tag name. So in our case I want to execute the tag1 automation tests. So that's the reason here I have entered a tag1. For tag1 we have total two automation tests and at the rate tag2 contains only one automation test. And if you see here guys, so second test is getting executed. Just for the demo purpose, I have given the at the rate tag one and at the rate tag two. So in the real time projects, you can give the at the rate smoke testing, at the rate sanity testing, at the rate regression testing. And if you see here guys output, so we had two automation tests belong to the at the rate test one, sorry tag one. So those are getting executed here, right? So let's open the report and we will execute the tag2 test as well. If you see here guys, so test1 is belong to that at the rate tag1 and a test3 is belong to the at the rate tag1, right? So total test count is two and those are getting passed here, right? So this time I want to execute the test which belong to the at the rate tag2. Only test2 will be getting executed this time. So here I will modify the tag name as at the, sorry guys. So we need to mention at the rate tag2. And if you see here guys, and only one test got triggered for the execution and that is already running right now. So 
so it validates the title of the web page and it will close the browser that's it guys and if you see the output here so only one test it was having that was belong to the at the rate tag 2 and those that particular test got executed so let's open the report and refresh it and if you see here so this time we have executed tests which are belong to the at the rate tag 2 so right now only one test is belong to the at the rate tag 2 so this is how you can create the tags for the playwright tests and this is how you can execute the tests which belong to the specific tags.